The way we currently grow grapes is quite an old system. You know, it's been imported out of Europe, it's been modified slightly, but it really, it's time to have a total relook at that system. Some of the challenges that we, we see in the, the grape system at the moment is that the plant's really not set up in a way based on the knowledge we have from a number of other crops that have really advanced themselves. In the grape system, we're not seeing the leaves spread out in a way that really maximises our use of sunlight and being able to convert that into fruit. The, the growing zone and the fruiting zone is quite bunched where a number of other crops have really spread out the leaves, spread out the fruiting zone and seen massive jumps in both productivity and fruit quality. New Zealand wines are in demand overseas and we have a great reputation we want to keep that. But currently we're really constrained with land area, particularly here in Marlborough, so if we want to expand there's not a lot of room. The quality thing is equally important in terms of the New Zealand wine industry and, and where we're positioning ourselves in the world. If we can increase our yield and maintain quality, then that's a win. The steering group, we've gone for a visit to Hawke's Bay to have a look at apples. So the apple system over the last about seven years, they've, they've gone back to basics, tried to understand how their trees grow and how they can better utilise the light. So what we've done for Apple is designed a, a canopy system which allows us to use, instead of 50-55% uh, maximum sunlight through the season, we're now utilising something like 80%. And that differential is where the extra productivity comes from. Our new system is, looks very much like a giant vineyard. The trees are very narrow, very tall and almost linear. It stops the, the clustering of the leaf area, creating deep shade, putting fruit into shade. All the things that we know are bad for fruit quality and for productivity. The apple system really has inspired us. If we were to do something like what they've achieved in the Apple systems, which is a doubling of productivity, that would be an absolute game changer for the industry. Alongside that, we expect to see quite significant gains in sustainability, particularly creating more outputs, more fruit for the same or hopefully less inputs going into producing that fruit and are much more amenable to be automated to make those jobs simpler to perform, easier to perform and more predictable uh, year to year. You know, we've got climate change, all these challenges ahead of us, so we want to be prepared for that. And that was my personal motivation for being part of this group. What we're going to do is it'll be about redesigning that grape system and applying it from day one in growers' vineyards. Really would give them long-term intergenerational sustainability and financial prosperity.